So it's Wednesday morning and I'm on my way to my Wednesday morning clean. But I want to talk about something else today, which is I was listening to a, a podcast the other day about it was to do with what it takes to make a happy life, that sort of thing. And they were talking specifically within that about mental health and mental wellness and how social media has affected that. And this chap who was uh, some university professor or some somebody expert in the field, so that they can track back the start of the up the uptrend in mental health issues to social media and we're not talking about the internet here we're talking about actual social media for the masses so really they are talking about about 2007 2008 which is when Facebook started and there were several issues with the way social media has changed over the years it's that it's become very gamified and that it's become about project, projecting a version of you that isn't necessarily correct. And I mean, it's one of the reasons I have stopped using Instagram and I don't use Facebook is because people depict their lives in ways that aren't true for whatever reason. So I see people that I know paste, posting wonderful happy images of meeting up with family and doing all these sorts of things and I know for a fact that they have awful relationships with their family their toxic situations but that's not the photo that they have put out because they don't want people to know that of course they don't I mean, I would just not post anything. If you are if you have a toxic family and then you post all over your social media tagging them in, saying what a wonderful day you had, these people will just carry on the same. And I make an example in my business Instagram. My Instagram accounts still exist, I just don't go in them. Which is that back in the days when I used to do a lot of photo shoots, so I have quite a few aspiring models on my Instagram and we were all doing it for images you know I was coming in and um, being wardrobe and designing the photo shoots I was doing it for images and kind of my payment was I can use these images to promote my business models were using them to put into their portfolios in the hope of getting paid modeling jobs or agencies take them on that sort of thing photographers were using it to advertise themselves as photographers and now when I occasionally go in I will see these aspiring models posting up photo shoots of them in wonderful glamorous locations like hot sunny Greek beaches and plush hotels and things like that and suggesting that this is a photo shoot they're in their bikinis they're in their best makeup all that sort of thing and then the clincher at the end is that they're on holiday with their family who paid for them to go on holiday with them or it's a, it's a regular holiday with their partner. So these aren't modelling jobs, but young girls will look at these, these girls and think, oh my goodness, she's got this wonderful modelling job on a sun-kissed beach, uh, somewhere remote or exotic. Why can't I do that? And it's fake. So much of social media now, so much of what we aspire to is something that doesn't exist. So people who do these ridiculous refill hauls and things like that, uh, like the Stanley Cups, and everyone's got every single Stanley Cup, and you look at the, and some people look at this and aspire to this, and a lot of the time it's fake. A lot of the time when people say they've been gifted all these, you know, makeup brands and things like that, 
it's stuff they've bought themselves and or they do a, like a massive Amazon haul or something like that and they do this haul and they put it online and then they take it back to the shop and get the money back because actually they can't afford it because they're not an influencer they have no money so there's that and that brings me on to two other subjects which is what makes for an interesting life and what is purpose so in terms of an interesting life people think that the only way anyone's going to be interested in them is if they have this glamorous expensive looking lifestyle that they put all over social media and what have you and i couldn't give a fig about stuff like that i have no interest in that at all which is another reason why i don't go into instagram because it's so fake and a lot of it's ai made up a lot of it's you know filtered photos so people don't look like they actually look. I see some horrific, horrifically altered photographs of people that I know. And I know they don't look like that. And it's absolutely hilarious. These people look terrifying. And so there's all that, you know. You want the interesting life that your, that your friend has or that person that you follow on social media has. But actually, they, that isn't an interesting life. It doesn't actually exist. But inter an interesting life is whatever you want it to be. And people will say on my, some of my videos, you know, not, not a very joyous life, not a very interesting life. But this is real life. And for a lot of people, real life is interesting life. I love following people who have regular day in the life vlogs of their real life. People like Live It Like Lauren, who are doing real life stuff like, yay, I've got Wi-Fi connected in my new home, unpacking, um, spending the day at my parents, that sort of thing. Because that's real life and it helps to remind you that everybody around you really is just living an ordinary life. And I don't really aspire to any of those ridiculous videos that you see, they're just like a waste of a waste of your energy and then think about purpose so what is the purpose of your life a lot of people don't have any I'm not going to say necessarily aspirations but just the drive to keep going every day and it might be that it's just getting to work every day because you're keeping a roof over your head and keeping food on the table for your family it might be that you are an aspiring content creator and you're vlogging on YouTube in the hope of making an income and it might be that you are a small home-based craft business just trying to get by and this is what real life is like being a home business it's not glamorous it's not big it's just I'm making stuff in my spare room and all that sort of thing and that's what life is like it really 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 is so think about purpose do you have a purpose in life or are you just floating along with no idea what you're doing in the world because purpose is really important people humans need purpose I mean back in the very early days of human beings it was basically about surviving like it is for animals I mean animals don't have a purpose beyond surviving eating breeding propagating the species bringing up their youngsters and doing it all again the next year and surviving winter and and that's fine because that is their purpose is to procreate humans have turned purpose into something far more complicated than it used to be you know we have to have careers now and we have to own houses and and all that sort of thing and is that a purpose I don't know whether material aspiration is really a purpose having more money they reckon that there's a point at which you have enough money to be as happy as you can be and having a million quid 
doesn't make you happy or any happier than would 500,000. Anyway, so purpose, an interesting life and stop believing what you see on social media because social media is an absolute blooming lie. It really is. It's, everything is so fake. Everything is trying to sell at you and reel you in and take your money and make you feel bad about your own life. It's just... And these people aren't usually leading those lives. Their lives are actually just like ours. The girl who posts fancy pictures of her on the beach might work at McDonald's six days a week. You don't know. Anyway... <laughs> Stay, you know, stay on a level playing field. Think about what is real. Think about what is a genuine aspiration for you. Uh, what would make your life better? Genuinely, not like, oh, I want to be a famous actor or something. Unless you are going to be a famous actor, you might be an absolute genius actor. Who knows? But... Keeping things realistic also helps. So, have a think about that. Anyway, I'm here. I have to make a phone call. I'm trying to make a phone call to my pension supplier because I have a problem with a transaction. And um, thank you, Smarty, and your 4G from 3, which means that I can't even seem to make a phone call today. Technological issues today are just really irritating me. <sighs> Chill, it's just technology. It'll all sort itself out in the end. It's not worth getting wound up about. Speak to you later. Bye-bye. <laughs>